And now for this week in Argo Athletics. The University of West Florida men's basketball team split conference games last week to open the 2013 year. Thursday, the Argonauts defeated Shorter University 68-67. After holding off a late surge by Shorter that involved two ties and four lead changes over the final three minutes of the game, West Florida came out on top with the victory. Senior Terrence Beasley led UWF with 16 points, while freshman guard Jason Latch added 15 in the win. Mainly our offense is, is to get the ball inside to our big man who, who shoot a pretty high percentage down there. So if I have my open shot, I'm going to take it, but we're just really trying to work to get a high percentage shot. That's mainly what our offense is all about. Saturday, UWF dropped a close matchup with the number three ranked Alabama Huntsville 78-75. Beasley had a breakout performance, scoring a career-high 34 points while shooting 15 of 22 from the field. Junior Ellis Young had 23 points in the loss, 18 of which came in the second half. Young also grabbed eight rebounds and blocked three shots. The UWF women's basketball team dropped to three and nine overall with two losses to conference opponents last week. Thursday, West Florida fell to shorter 65-54. Senior Hannah Vetti scored 13 points in the loss, while freshman Jasmine Wigfall and senior Emily Erland added 10 points each. Saturday, UWF fell to Alabama Huntsville 70-61. Vetti led the Argo offense for the fifth consecutive contest, scoring 21 points and recording 11 rebounds for her third double-double of the season. Make sure to keep up with the Argonauts on GoArgos.com and our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. That wraps up this week's edition of the Argonaut Weekly Report.